So yeah, Jacko, um, unsurprisingly, uh, was revealed today. She does have not much of a different design than the story mode. It's almost like identical to the story mode. And to me, a lot of the way this character looks right here looks very similar to what I remember her looking like in Exard. Um, but once again, the art style of the game is different, you know? Like the, w the way characters look in this game just looks different than the previous game. They have, they have a different art style, which we've talked about a whole bunch in the past, you know what I mean? Yeah, her hair color, I don't know, do, do I remember her having like candy cane hair? Oh, her hair was white before, that's what it was. That's what it was. Anyway, regardless of the character design, I know this character is like waifu bait for everybody, but this was genuinely like one of the weirder characters in Exard. I don't think even I, until I, I, I just, I picked up the character uh, a while ago with your video games, right? And I just started slapping buttons that I actually understand what the hell she does and how she has to level up the minions and everything like that. To the point where I realized I'm like, oh, this chick is just Gargos. But Gargos is like simpler and has a little bit more direct control over some of the minions. I'm like, oh. She's literally like waifu Gargos. Wow. And once you understand that, it starts to make a bit more sense. But yeah, like you see this girl approaching you and doing all these flips and dips and command grabs and stuff. And then you have six angry looking shitheads stabbing you and everything like that. It gets very confusing looking. She's definitely one of the, the weirder characters. I would argue she's probably one of the weirdest to look at characters in Guilty Gear Exard from a gameplay perspective next to like fucking Batman. Batman was some off the wall nutty shit. Like they were... They were getting very, very, uh, very crazy. So I'm curious to see how they are changing a lot of that stuff in this game. I think we talked about this a bit earlier. I was like, I think they'll take away her minions. I was actually assuming that her minions might be stuck into a super or something of the like. So I don't know exactly how that's going to work out. Let's watch the trailer and come to a conclusion. Want me to tell you why you're here? Will I find out if we fight him together? Now you're getting it. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. We got the ball and chain, of course. Anyway, you know I know, oh, right? damn. What you're really damn, she looks really good in motion. Maybe Holy shit. She looks way. Okay, she looks way better in motion than I think in the previous game. Although pretty similar, too. You can't make friends just by looking down from the top of your castle. How long do you intend to stay in here? That's a shot, all right? That is definitely a, a, a camera angle and a shot. Those are definitely animations. Wow. To stay the way they are. At least for now. Sure, that's fine by me. I'm cool with rolling with it. Then shall we? Oh my god, are these, are these turning into Dragon Ball Fighters trailers? They kind of are, man. I'm looking at that that time. These are getting close to turning into Dragon Ball Fighters trailers, man. I don't like that. She's coming out August 27th. Okay, good. I was about to say, like, she comes out tomorrow. It's like, oh, fuck you guys. Same day as like Akira and Oro or something like that. Thank God she's not. I'm glad. I'm really glad she's at the end of the month. Okay, so we're getting one more character this year at some point that, that'll probably be like a november release and then the next stage and character and story expansion are probably going to be in the first half of 2022. i think these characters dropping so uh quickly after one another is because of uh the delay the game had to get because of the online they had to change a lot of stuff because of the lobby's functionality uh, and they're still working on it but i think they gave them a, a lot of time to sort of prepare the dlc characters to be primed and ready for release ass one roadmap oh yeah i mean this guy's got some fat thick ass one jacko is literally queen of ass one roadmap this character is possibly you know what i hope she might be i don't know about her badonka donk usually covered i don't know how much cake does slayer have <laughs> i want to go back and watch the gameplay stuff again because what? it let, let's let's mute it and slow it down I want to see how much minioning is actually in here because it all is cut very, uh... So this moves back, right? Okay, so she can't actually set one minion and punt the shit out of it. Wow, that is very Gargos-like. Holy hell. I mean, I, 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 since I don't know... What the fuck? I feel like she, uh, I feel like the red hair is a lot better, uh, for, like, an artistic contrast. Okay, so there's a one and a two. And a three? Oh, shit. 
Oh shit. I'm assuming it stops at three, right? I'm assuming, I, wow, they bounce into each other and shit. Holy hell. Yeah, okay, so it's three. It's definitely three. Are they gonna level up the same way where, uh, cor correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't the minions, do, do the minions not level up via time, right? Like the more they're on the stage, I don't think she can like manually level them up, right? It was, if you kept them alive, they got buffer and then they got buffer and then they got buffer just sort of naturally over time, right? There's no minion factory. It's more low key venom. Wait, how like, like cue balls? Is that what we're saying? She more, like is she, she can essentially throw them out like, like venom billiard balls? Set balls and smack them around? I guess so. Oh shit, does this mean Venom's not coming back? <laughs> oh shit. Is the inclusion of Jacko and her mechanics being more Venom-like mean that Venom's not coming back? Watch Venom just be like a, a mid-range uh, poke you with a stick guy now. Venom retired, yes. I'm sure there's a good story reason why he's not coming back. I'm sure. I'm sure characters retiring or dying are great reasons for them not to come back, chat. So what? What? Two, one? Is it gonna blow the fuck up? That blew the fuck up. Neat. So there's a defensive one, right? So there's like defensive ones. And uh, probably offensive ones. I wonder what, what contributes to each one of their factors. Like why they act certain ways. If she has a way to put out a defensive one or whatnot. Damn. She looks way better though. Like let's go back and actually look at uh, her design in the old game. Because to me, it feels like her actual design, her, her animations look pretty similar, right? It looks like they just look like an upgraded version of the previous game, which makes sense. Yeah, you're right. The hair is like reversed. And I think this is substantially better, but damn. Is it just me or does it feel like her character design is really similar? Her eye color changed. Her costume almost looks identical. But once again, yeah, the biggest change is the art style, like I said, like there's less the super hyper anime, like cartoony aesthetic and they're going for a more like mature art style, still anime 100%, but like more of a slightly mature art style, like every other character has gone through the game. And personally, like I know a lot of people love this style and I don't think it's bad at all. I think it looks great. I just think this shit looks better. Like for me personally, this is the art style that I've always resonated with more in everything. I just think it looks cooler. Jacko looks good. I'm uh. God, and the fact that they pull this shit off in 3D is just insane. I want a player, right? I feel I feel like it's going to be fun to try these characters as they come out. The same way with Gold Lewis, where it's like, yeah, Gold Lewis, I enjoyed myself. I definitely felt like I was um, trying to eat my hand every once in a while playing that character and learning him because he had a very, uh, a very difficult skill gap at the start. And then you start to get around it, but it's still it's still very difficult, you know? I feel like she's going to be a bit more pesky. She's probably going to be a bit more weirdly uh, accessible, if that's the correct term. But still with bonkers shit. Having, having minions is still bananas, right? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And I'd argue she's even more Gargos-like than than ever before, which is cool. What would you categorize Gargos as? Uh, Gargos is like this. He's a minion character. Like the whole gimmick of him is that he's got good normals, but obviously, like, as, as a normal character by himself, he's only okay. But when he gets, you know, I call him Jerry and Larry on the screen, he summons two demons with him. And you can give the demons commands to go do stuff, right? To cover your ass. But they can die. If you cover your demons and keep them alive, he's, he's like the best character in the game. But you have to use your, your supers and everything like that to knock the demons away before they eventually die. They, only, they, can, they can only take like a couple of hits. So yeah, I'm curious how, how all that's gonna relate to here because like we were saying earlier, it already felt like Jacko was like a bonkers version of Gargos.